Not enough to outweigh the loss of Rift. The whole south of East March will be open to Imperial attack. I did ask. Although I'm beginning to wonder whose side you're really on. Still... Blocking Pale Pass would cut one of the main Imperial supply routes. And Whiterun is dangerously exposed with the enemy in Falk Reef. Better than nothing, I guess. But Tolius will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Riften without a fight. You heard the man, Ulfric. We get Riften back. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your fine words. You did the best you could, brother. But I've learned the hard way that these Imperials are best dealt with at sword point. I know how this works, Tullius. I've learned the value of Imperial promises the hard way. Never again. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire! Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? If he's right about Alduin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now. Back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Riften on these terms. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Hjalmarch to us, and take Idgrad Ravenkron with you. Sorely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? I'm willing to let the Dragonborn be the judge of the fairness of my request. You've dealt with us fairly so far. You've heard our demand. What say you? Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial control. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Empire will allow Ulfric's forces to enter Falkreef. Jarl Sidgir will step down, and Dengir of Stoom will take his place as Jarl. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorli the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. This is quite an achievement, Dragonborn. And General Tullius. Riften is ours. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plans? 